Ladies and gentlemen, we all rise and honor the bride. Thank you. And you may be seated. Thank you. You look lovely. Now the two of you have had separate paths that led you to this very moment. And it's that same path that the two of you will now be sharing through marriage. And the unity candle will represent that exactly. How your two lives will now be merged into one through marriage. And if there's a few things that I hope would carry along its way with the two of you, it would be that for you both to have the ability from the heart to always listen, learn, and love. Listen to one another, what it is that they have to offer and what makes them feel whole and part of this relationship, because after all, they just may be the voice of reason. And secondly, the ability to learn. Learn whatever it takes to help the other fulfill every desire, every dream, every wish, and every goal that they may have. And lastly, the ability to love. To love unconditionally, which means no strings attached. It's an ongoing love. And this is the type of love that I hope the two of you wish to express to one another each and every day. Keeping in mind that way that Nas' happiness will be more important than your own. And the same for you, Na, that that way's happiness will be far more important than yours. And with that in your minds and in your hearts, I'm sure your lives together will be everything that you want it to be. So with that said, the way I'll ask you first, with your presence here today, alongside Na, do you take her as your wife? Yes, I do. Now I'll ask you the same. With your presence here today, alongside Dawei, do you take him to be your husband? Yes, I do. Thank you. If I could have you hand over your bouquet. Your bouquet, your flowers? Hand over your flowers? And if you guys can turn and face each other and hold each other's hands. Now looking into each other's eyes, you will see the very reason why you are here today. Proving that at this moment, there is no one more important than who stands before you. So with that said, Dawei, I'll have you go first in repeating your vows after me. I, Dawei, take you now. I take uh, take now. To be my wife. Be my wife. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Through good times. For the good time. And bad times. And bad times. Whether we are rich. Whether we are rich. Or poor. Or poor. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. Through laughter. Through laughter. And tears. Through yours. I will love and cherish you. I will ch love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my place. Thank you, sir. I'm not looking into Dawei's eyes. If you could please repeat your vows after me. I now take you, Dawei. I now take you, Dawei. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will stand beside you. I'm stand and beside you. Through success. To success. Or misfortune. Or misfortune. Through the joys. Joys. And sorrows. And sorrows. Of life. Of life. In sickness. 
and in hell, and here, through laughter, through laughter and, tears, and tears, I will love and cherish you. I, will love and cherish. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Thank you. Mm-hmm. At this time, may I have the rings, please? Now these rings, they're not only symbols, they're tokens of the very love and devotion that the two of you are expressing here today. And my hope is that in each and every day, wearing these rings, may it remind you of exactly that promise and pledge. And in time, these rings may lose beauty, but I hope that the two of you value and take honor and wearing these rings for what they truly represent. And through your friends and family, the beauty will shine through you both. And the two of you will be a wonderful example for all. So Doe, I'll see you take Na's ring, place it upon her ring finger, and if you could please repeat, with this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful, be a faithful and loving a loving husband husband and I feel so honored I feel so honored to call you my wife to call you my wife thank you sir for that yes please thank you sir no taking Dawei's ring if you could place it on his ring finger and if you could please repeat with this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful, to be your faithful and loving, loving wife. Wife. And I feel so honored. I feel so honored to call you, to call you my husband. My husband. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Now, this time, if I could have you step over to the unity candle. Mm-hmm. Stand over here. Mm-hmm. Each to one side of the lit candles. And as I mentioned before, the two of you each had your separate paths that led you to this very moment. And in lighting the center candle, you be not only uniting your lives, but that of your families as well. So I ask that you take a hold of your individual taper, and if you guys can light the center candle at the same time. also symbolizing that you'll be creating a new journey with new memories. And if I could have you guys blow out your individual taper and leave the center one lit. Thank you. Now I'll invite you back to the front of the podium. No, 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 if you love somebody, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You will always stand beside them. You will always love and trust them. And you will stand your ground in defending them no matter what. Now this is a saying that I like to leave with the two of you. And it simply says, don't walk in front of me. I may not follow. Don't walk behind me. I may not lead. But walk beside me as a friend. Because after all, that's what the two of you will be building throughout your journey in marriage. is a deeper, richer, stronger friendship built upon the foundation, your wonderful relationship that you already have. So the 7th of October, a day that will now be mark your anniversary. In the presence of friends and family as witnesses, The two of you had showed your intentions by the exchanging of your vows and the exchanging of your rings. Therefore, with the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, it is my honor and my privilege to now be able to pronounce you as husband and wife. The way you may now kiss your wife soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, they will have their first dance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Lee, the newlyweds. Congratulations to you. Bellet, you may now walk your wife down the aisle.